and welcome to a game called Okami. Now this was a game that I saw just like a little while ago, but it was absolutely beautiful and I really wanted to play it. Um, I wanted to finish Life is Strange before the storm and before I actually start this one, but I, now that I'm done with that one, I am super excited to be able to start in on Okami. Um, I'm not quite sure, like I guess the storyline, I mean from the opening part it looks like we're maybe a wolf that's fighting off um, a bunch of like shadow demons of sorts, um, but I'm not entirely sure how or like what the what the story is about but I saw it and I just like I loved the art style so much so I'm super excited to actually be able to get into this and to actually play it it was made a while ago and I know it's like a little bit longer of a game so I'm not quite sure maybe I won't be like showing you guys like all of it but I'm gonna be showing you guys like the important parts and the cool parts and stuff like that so I'm super excited to be able to jump into this so without further ado let's begin Okami new game I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name I'm not entirely sure how to say it Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamaki, I'm not quite sure, lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Oh, pretty. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Ooh, to say to save the appetite at uh, the appetite or Orochi, a fearsome uh, cave dwelling beast a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival oh no with a body like a mountain and the eight head heads mounted on its neck the size of tree trunks its blood red eyes alone were not were said to be cursed but were said to curse anyone who gazed into them no one dared to disobey the horrific beast. This is terrifying. But super cool at the same time. Oh gosh. <clears throat> when the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shirani uh, Shiranu I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a fam familiar of Orochi. I'm sorry about the names, I'm probably butchering them terribly and I do apologize for that. <clears throat> One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shirani. The warrior Naji attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by the Shirani's swift movements. 
Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A great plumed arrow heralded the coming of sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sank its shaft squarely into the home of the Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Neji harbored a secret love for Nami and was enraged by the sign. Determined to put an end to the orchi once and for all, Neji traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. Oh, how sweet. The moon cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Naji stood bravely before the entrance, the beast appeared, its eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Naji leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi hid. But Orochi's hide was like steel, and the blades left near a scratch. Oh no, poor Neji. At long last, Neji and his energy spent from the intense battle dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if pr to protect Neji, it stood its ground before Archie, Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone bright, brilliantly. Alas, it was the Shrani, the wolf who had dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shrani leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, ready, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled with wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Oh, this is getting intense, you guys. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Oh, that's such a cool picture. Shrani summoned gusts of divine winds to counter Shroji's flames. Oh, that's cool. As Orochi closed in on Shrani's sharpened claws glistened, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shirani fought ga gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, oh no, Orochi, protected by a mystic, mystic, mystical sorry, power, was not easily bested. Shirani, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Oh no. This isn't good, you guys. Orochi saw the chance to strike, and that would be the final blow. But Shirani refused to give in, and with one last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gave Hayward and unleashed, gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Naji's sword as it became a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Naji, who had taken shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his sacred and battered arms, scarred and battered arms, sorry, not sacred, <laughs> he leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised, poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Oh, yay! Orochi's broken body collapsed ooh, in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that the pla that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shirani had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Oh no! Neji scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamaki. When they reached the village, Shirani was no longer moving. 
The village elders gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Jirani let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off into a slumber. Shirani. Peace had come at la peace had returned at last to the Kamaki village. In honor of Shirani's heroic exploit exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Oh no, it did die. <laughs> Naji's sword was christened Taizumoki and placed inside the moon cave. Ooh, the moon cave, that sounds cool. The villagers looked forward to the age of the endless peace. It's great that the village is safe and oh, however, this is not the end of the story. Oh good, because we just started. There is more to this tale than people know. A hundred years had passed since Naji and Shirani's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. Hello? Is this the legendary sword? Is this the Tamuskmi? The sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? This one sounds evil. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. A doubtful villain, I think. Oh no. Ah, uh, thief. Oh, I think that's just unleashed the Orochi again, I think. Oh no. He's gonna eat him. Oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world. Don't say that. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Don't say it. Run away. Run. <laughs> my gosh. This is so cool, but oh no! <laughs> A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one. There, however, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamaki Village enjoyed the protection of the sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Is the wolf gonna wake up? We could use the wolf bag right now. Oh. Oh, she's so pretty. Ooh. Wood spirit. Sequoia. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. That has transpired to bring the... What has transpired to bring such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I do not have much time left in this world. No. Amateur Asuni, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon the broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Oh. Oh, I got a cool fire shield. Oh my gosh. Okami 
Amutsuri? Am Amut Amuterasui. I'm not sure. I do apologize. Ah, such divine white light. Such a beautiful grace. Such beauty and grace. Only one capable of such a wonderful spectacle is none other than our mother and the orig origin of that Amatasuri. How delightful it is to see the Savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago. He has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. <laughs> we just want to take a nap, you guys. <laughs> Relatable. Hey, you go save the world again. No, I'm going to take a nap. I'm not just sweet. Gaze upon you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from the midst, the world has succumbed to devious and, vent devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Napoin. Napoin? Napoin. <clears throat> but never have circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish that, the darkness that punished those who would do us harm. Hmm? Uh, what is this? Has something been stolen on its way into my has something stolen its way into my robe? Ho ho ho. Oh he <laughs> it's tickling or whatever it is. Ah ha 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 <laughs> Oh my Pew, what on earth? You again? What is it? Looks like a bug. It's a little man? Ow, ow, ow! Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. You are napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. <laughs> The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. How cute. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long until you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> ah, did you paint this Isun? It's very well done. Well, what do you think? <clears throat> Even cuter <laughs> than the real thing, no? Don't eat it, don't eat it. What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Just a wolf from the legendary st story that saved the world, you know, no big deal. Got it, you just you look just like the statue of Shirahi, Shirani. That's because I, oh, I ate the bug. <laughs> Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slaver. You'll regret messing with the great Asuni. I like him, he's cute. Don't make me use my prize sword and drum key against you. Don't den Kumori? Den Kumori against you. <laughs> is this the sword? Or is this just the bad stuff that's happening outside? What? What? That's growling what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, I must read. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamaki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Oh, so pretty. Only your awesome powers can restore the life of the world. The tree returned to normal, huh? That's, that's Ragi. So, Saka, Sakagu. I'm sorry, I keep on forgetting how I pronounce things. Girl, sure said some weird stuff. The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit. <laughs> That's the fruit that the girl said that if you cut into it, the village will be reborn, will be restored. 
and it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're going to reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Oh, okay. Ah, how cool it is. Just look at us. Okay, so you can run like that. Oh, I can jump. How cool it is when I jump. Oh my gosh. What else can I do? Let me just play with the controllers for a second. Okay, onward into the glowing light, I think, I hope. This game is super cute. Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. We went inside the tree. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the mouse to look around. Ah, see, ch <coughs> see, see changes your point of view, okay? Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Whoop, okay. Look how cool, okay, gotcha. Ooh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Okay, don't run off the edge. Uh, okay. Whoop. Okay, just keep it like this for now. We won't touch it. Uh, C changes, oh, hold on. That's the origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Oh, so it's like a save point. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. <laughs> exactly. Let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you can always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. Ah, uh, gotcha. I have to save. Okay, F. And we'll save you in number one, I guess. Alright. Very cool. Look how cool we are. Oh my gosh, it looks like we have wings. We have whoops. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. It looks like we have wings almost, though. That is super cool. We are so cool. Whoops. Okay, come on. I do apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Come on, turn and run. There we go. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. Is this a Zelda game? If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Pressed. Okay, click to hit, hit them with my head. Okay. Great. Whoops. Come on. Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see you see something you can break. I see. Oh, I got yen. Whoop, okay, whoops. There you go. Again, break all the pots. Ha ha ha. Oh, this game is so cool. It's so pretty. Oh, we got 100 yen already. Look at us. We're racking up all the monies. What can we do with the fire? We, what if we jump at the fire? No? Okay, we can't jump at the fire. Okay, I will learn this mouse, I promise. I do apologize. Oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. The chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Okay. Getting up that high ought to be a pri ought to be a getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press space to jump. Okay. Then press space again to wall jump. Okay. But make sure you press it firmly so you can jump really high. Press firmly to jump high. Gotcha. Oh, I can jump multiple times. Okay, hold on. Oh, I did it. I know you can do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss anything. Any treasures? Um. Whoops. It's like everything controls a bit backwards. 
Hold on. Oh, it's a cool horse. Am I supposed to break it? I just broke the horse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pats. Smash those. Get all the money. Do we have to... How do we get into the treasure chest? Oh, there we go. We obtained a holy bone. Holy bone S, sorry. My tries, um, favorite snack. Uh, restores three units of solar energy. Okay, so it's like a, it's how we get our health back if we, whoop. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, you guys. I can do this. Across the bridge again. Looks like the bridge is out. Uh oh. This should be so hard. Um, Amaterasu was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Amy? <laughs> okay. Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the spirits of the bush? The brush? Sorry. Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It take a long. It take all day to explain. A picture is worth a thousand words, right? Okay. Ah, it's painting a bridge. And there's a bridge there. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered. It's one of the many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced it really hard just to master this one, te this one technique. But there are thirteen. Each one is a power of one. Of, each one is a power of one thirteen broad brush gods. Originally, all thirteen were a single powerful identity. Then the identity died, and its powers were split into thirteen separate gods. Uh, the gods who dwelled within ob the gods now dwell within objects all around us. But god or no god, how could anyone use the power to master? How can anyone have the power to master all 13? Ah, that's going to be our job, isn't it? We're going to master all 13. Oh, hold on. There are pots. More pots. Ooh. What's this? River of the Heavens. Okay. The River of the Heavens. They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over. Th it couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? Interesting. Okay, so do I need to go over there? But what's up here? One second. Looking for treasure, like you asked me to do. Whoa! Look at the stars. Look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look. Are those the stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Ooh, it's a dragon. Hmm. There's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Okay, you do that. Huh. Bah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press control to hold the brush, then... Okay. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that mumbo. Okay, so control is to hold the brush. And then I... There you go. Yay! I drew a dragon. Be proud of me. That's a cool dragon. But that's not the bad dragon. I don't think so. It's a super cool one though. Okay, oh boy. <coughs> ha! Why, if it isn't the mother of Matsuri. I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yamagami, Yomagini, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you are away, the thirteen spirits of the brushes that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in, in disarray. Ah, so I did hold a 13 at one, one time. 
I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all of the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbeds of the heavens and renew the flow of the stardust. Gosh, this is so cool. Sorry, I keep on saying that, but this is so cool. Ooh. Wow, that was Yugami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of the rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good as a brush. That would mean you are as good with a brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Ooh, achievement unlocked. Hold on, we're gonna smash the pots, then we'll restore the riverbed. Whoop, keep on bouncing back every once in a while. Come on, this way, onward. Okay, it won't smash those pots. River of the heavens. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. Aha, uh -huh. I plan to prove you wrong. F2 exam, okay. River of the Heavens. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get in the river flowing again. Uh, fixing a bridge is one thing, but Star River, no way you could pull off something like that. Okay. How do I. Whoops. I'm sorry. How do I prove you wrong? How do I draw? Wait a minute. How do I draw? Is it control? Is this right? Oh, I did it! Whoa! A river of stardust. So this must have been the real. This. So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is, who the heck drew that darn thing? Look at it! We did it! Oh, it's so cool! Look at us swimming. We're so cute. Oh my gosh. Ah, another treasure chest. Oh, I'm going. Another treasure chest. What's this? I obtained an astral pouch. Ooh. Look what you found, Furball. This is an astral, astral pouch. Here's This astral pouch here is amazing. It could swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Ah, I see. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Okay. Um, I think this is where I'll leave this episode for now. I know we have a while to go, and we kind of just started off, and most of it was like storytelling and stuff like that. But I think this is a good step place to end it. Oh, okay, whoops, okay. But look at us, oh gosh, we're so cute. This is so exciting. This game is like adorable. This game is like amazing, like the style. Oh, we just yawned and stretched. Oh my gosh. This game is like super cool and super pretty and just overall amazing so far. I think that's it for now. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. This is absolutely amazing. It's adorable. I love I love the wolf we play as. I love the little bug. Everything is just like really super cool and super adorable. And I like I like the painting aspect of it. That's super cool. And then the art style again is just like amazing i mean like look at that that is just so cool and that story whoops sorry I'm, i'll work on the controls i promise but everything is just so cool and i just i'm super excited to be actually be able to play this game because i saw it and i was like wow that looks really cool so i'm glad to be able to play it um if you guys enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up and in the comment section below let me know have you always played ever played this game before or something different to it I'm mispronouncing, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing like a lot of the names wrong, but if you um, have any like, if you know how they're pronounced or if you can direct me to a source that maybe helps me to pronounce at least some of the main ones, I'm not going to be able to learn like every single one of them of course, but if you like know how you would pronounce them or you prefer if I tried pronouncing them that way, or if you just 
don't like how I'm pronouncing them in general, let me know. Um, if, or if you like to see me play more of this game, because, I, like I said, I think this is like a 40 hour long game, so like it's it's take, gonna take a while and I'm not sure how much of it I'll end up like showing. Like there, I'm sure there'll be like some downtime in between that I can like, you know, I don't have to show you guys, but I'll show you guys like the major battles or meaning the um, brush gods like this and stuff like that. Um, but let me know if let me get, let me know if you actually want to see me play this game because I'm super excited to play it, and I'm, I'm sure I'll play it regardless. But I'd love to be able to share it with you guys too. So let me know, and subscribe to be informed when I upload new videos. Now that I will see all of you colorful people in the next video. All right, bye.